This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. United stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and transfer news and we've got some massive updates for you this morning. It's very rare on a Saturday morning ahead of a match uh, on tomorrow obviously to have such big updates around Manchester United but these are huge. To be honest with you, the first, well we've got a big update around Frankie de Jong. Some of you may have seen it this morning. We'll certainly be touching on that. We've also got some transfer updates as well but the story I'm going to start off with, it's not hit yet so you're getting a bit, well it might be on Twitter now because I think we've tweeted it but um, this is a big exclusive and um, people have been saying why haven't you done the preview for the Crystal Palace game already. I intend to put it up this afternoon but I got some news on Thursday that made me think I'm not going to do a preview and then when I saw Ralph Rangnick's press conference yesterday when he said we had quite a few players out I was like this is starting to fit in with the news I had on Thursday and then last night I had it confirmed again and that leads me to say, leads me to say this that Cristiano Ronaldo is out of the game against Crystal Palace which is a huge blow for Manchester United and a huge blow for our season. So, right, first thing I'm going to say is I feel really sorry for Rangnick and Manchester United and certainly us as fans that there is a lack of discipline at that football club and it's been there for the last two months. There is a huge problem with players wanting to play for Manchester United and um, effectively you would think last game of the season people would want to play. Now I'm not talking about Cristiano Ronaldo here, we'll mention some other names in a minute, but that ultimately Ronaldo is carrying an injury and will not be playing tomorrow. This is what I have been told. Um, now look, what I would say is I've sat on this for quite a while because I'm like, there's stories this week about Manchester United doing work on who the leaks are. There's stories, this, and it's a massive game for United and Ralph Rangnick um, knows that. So maybe, may, maybe, maybe this has been put out there as a, as a, as a red herring, but actually all the things I've done, all the things I've looked at from his Instagram posts to United's training session yesterday, I can't see Ronaldo. So I actually think he probably is out of the game tomorrow. Now there is a training session today. Um, we'll see if anything comes out of that. But um, the, the story with Ronaldo is that he's highly, highly, highly likely to miss the game tomorrow and that he's carrying injuries uh, from this season. And obviously with two weeks off to come back for one game and then have another two weeks off ahead of internationals, I think maybe a conscious decision has been made by the club and Ronaldo that um, he needs this he needs this recuperation. And the, the rumour is that he's not even in the country. So look, I'm sure there's going to be better journalists than me searching out that information now and we may get clarity about this in the next half an hour, hour or two. But the information is that Cristiano Ronaldo misses the game tomorrow, which is a huge blow for Manchester United. A huge blow. It, it, when I heard it on Thursday, I was like, oh, this will be a load of nonsense. When I heard it last night, I was like... You know, especially after what Ranyuk had said in the press conference, and to hear it this morning, um, you know, I mean, this will be well known in the football community anyway. Um, but it's a big blow for United. Our record without Ronaldo is terrible, and I'm now thinking, is Conference League football going to be a reality? Because without Ronaldo, we are we are bad. Now Sancho's back training; he is back training. Um, Cavani ha is training at the moment. Obviously, that we, you never know with Cavani when he's going to say, "I don't fancy it." But uh, Ronaldo's a huge blow. And, and, and certainly, I think, in relation to Cristiano Ronaldo, you could never level it at him that he doesn't want to play for United. I mean, he's been, a, he's been our standout player with David De Gea this year. Welcome to Members Club, Aman. Uh, Liam, as well. One of the best things about your channel, unlike a competitor, is you don't harp on about Tories, <laughs> says Liam H. Uh, Dane Bart, welcome to Members Club. Um, sport is a place to get away from politics. Well, I, we don't do politics on here, uh, 
Liam, and, and I don't know what channel you're on about that does, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a bit oppressive to start talking to people about your politics. I've always avoided it. We're here to talk about football. Dane, welcome to the uh, Members Club as well. Um, so yeah, Ronaldo, we'll have to wait and see, but there's, there's strong indications that he's not going to be involved in the game tomorrow. If, if we're right, if we're right, we'll see what happens. Um, smooth things over with Martial, says Carl Keel. Um, in relation to the second thing I wanted to talk about before we talk about De Jong and some transfer news, because we've got a big update on De Jong for you as well. Manchester United, I feel sorry for Manchester United. I think Manchester United have had a lot of bad press in recent years and it's been deserved. But I think this season, especially since January, Richard Arnold's new in the role. Murta's tried his best. I think Fletcher's trying his best, to be fair. And I think Rangnick's tried his best. And I think certain players who've been crap are still trying their best. And, uh, you know, I would name people like Harry Maguire, Scott McTominay, Fred, Ronaldo, De Gea, even Bruno. All right, some of those players haven't played well this year, but they've never not wanted to put their body on the line. They've never not wanted to play for Manchester United. They've never really been a, a toxic influence. They've always had the best interest of that dressing room. Whether they're good enough on the pitch, look, I'd openly say some of them aren't. But there are certain players in that football club who are basically checked out. They've checked out. And basically what's happened is this has been happening for the last couple of months. You've had people moaning about, you know, how they've been treated by the fans, how they've been treated by the club. And effectively, they've checked out. And the danger was that when you play Brighton and you've got a two-week break for one game that they probably wouldn't expect to get picked in anyway, they've literally checked out. Like, there is no no doubt about that. And from, from what I've been told, Paul Pogba's got no intention of being involved for the Palace game. Now, he might train today, but he hasn't been training all week. So Paul Pogba's checked out. I mean, apparently, he's even talking about where he's going to go when he could still be playing a game for Manchester United on Sunday. And the same with Jesse Lingard. Apparently Jesse Lingard's not involved tomorrow either. I don't know whether that's true. That does surprise me. Maybe he'll turn up for training today. Um, but apparently he's carrying a knock as well. So there are a few... When, when Rangnick's talking about a few players, I think obviously we've mentioned Ronaldo there. I think Luke Shaw's obviously had the, the birth of his child, which may keep him out. But there are a few players as well who obviously, you know, you've got to have concerns about because they're going to leave in the summer anyway. And it, it, it sounds like they've checked out already. So we'll, we'll wait with interest to see who's on the bus tonight for the Crystal Palace game or today and who's training on the final session today because there was a lot of people missing. Uh, morning Mark, could you use Bruno as a false nine or Cavani? No Ronaldo, no problem, says Mikel Rich. Well the problem is Mikel, our, our record without Ronaldo is terrible and we need to win that game and any team with Ronaldo is better than a team without Ronaldo isn't it? So is Cavani available to start the game, says Dean. Cavani did train yesterday, as of, as of this morning Cavani is fit. The problem is Cavani can be fit today and not tomorrow so Hopefully Sancho plays because you can construct... At least you've got four options if Sancho's fit. You've got Sancho, Cavani, Alanga, Rashford. But um, yeah, it's, it's a huge blow. Make sure you smash a like on the video. Any update on Timber this morning? Read that Ten Hag sees him as United's future captain, says Josh. Well, as if by magic, Josh, um, we'll give everybody the quote there, direct from uh, Tim about Timber. He said, this is from Ten Hag. He's another great leader that was trained at Ajax besides... Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.